just find a little cake. Again. I have got Gordon. I'm right there. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Don't let me. You can be in it again. I don't know what that like, oh, it was the weekend. I went to that folklore meeting in Kansas City, and they had a big round circle Saturday night playing, and he's taking turns, and they'd come to me, and I'd say, Don't, you know, go on. You know. <laughs>
seems to already know automatic, but they ain't automatic to me. Thank you. 
guys are Lonnie's. Yeah, I got some. You said, oh, I got a paper. Yeah, you didn't I, run out. I See, didn't I, run. She's getting ready to sell all of those. I told you we found in the basement mm -hmm. a whole bunch of those. If you want any of those, she's just wanting a buck a piece for the 45s. And then her, the LP, she's got one, two, three LPs left. Those last two he did, plus one of them singing. She's only one five bucks for those. But I've written away to four or five record companies a deal in that to see if they want to buy them, you know, because you want to get rid of all that. There's some good tunes on those 45s. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd make you a table. Yeah, I've got about all of them. Yeah. I think there's ten of them. Sounds like you need them in a barrel, just like the little LPs in here. to uh, my old George Knuckles and them boys went down to uh, what's that festival? Bluegrass Festival up down across the Boston Mountains. Well, no. Uh, anyway, Earl was down a long three or four hours three or four hundred miles down. Across the Boston Mountains. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know. A Bluegrass Hot Springs festival? or Hot Springs or Hope or Centerton? Fort Smith or It's kind of Special name to it. Uh, oh, the Lester Flat Memorial Park in Arkansas. No, I don't 
Well, that's on a special name I know. Anyway, anyway. Fairy is a fairy, uh, something fairy, bird fairy. I get nothing. Earl, oh, Earl Baldy. I'm about out in I've got to send you some. You, you heard this hot springs? Uh-uh. It's in F and E minor. Actually, it's a Texas tune, but uh, I tell you, he's been playing it. Is uh, I believe the Stone King's been playing it. Oh, it's a good tune. I gotta take that off. I don't think it's. I don't know. I don't play the fiddle, but I don't think it's that hard to, to learn. If you can find a second, it'll play it. the same first part. Uh, amazing day. Hmm. I like that's a good tune. Should pick that one that up. That was interesting last time we played down there in Houston. This woman was there playing. What was that thing? Uh, tin whistle. Penny whistle. And she'd just open this book up and old tunes and play them. Well, if you go down to Mike Fraser's. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get to go to that. I've been wanting, I really hate to miss that. They had a house full and... I bet they did. And the weather was bad, wasn't it? Didn't it rain and we did a nasty weekend? It was just cold. Yeah, I knew something was like cold, that. but uh, Ron went. Wasn't that bad? All night. Oh, well, we could, you know... Yeah, yeah, you know, I got pulled over by the cops coming home. You did. Yeah, I got pulled over by the cops. I played some times where I was so cold, I, you know... I was doing The middle was just using us. That's where we're at, around Mansfield. But we still played. We didn't get too far and I got pulled over. But I'll tell you, it's... I almost went to sleep coming back. That's all I could do. I could make things I need. Thank you. 
I'm just something. <laughs> No, I don't mind playing it, but I was trying I'm to get you all in our toe dams and A. I was trying to get you back into some of those you've been learning. <laughs> you okay. They aren't as easy as those. So. Easy, I'm going to talk out and play the fiddle out. He can handle this decor. Let me fill that cup up for you. Yeah, man. just leave that. That'll cool her off. Yeah. How's your wife doing? Pretty good. Yeah. How long has she got here? Who's you been having? It's not too far off, is it? Oh, March. Oh, well, she's got a ways to go. Yeah, I was thinking about doing hair. She's got a ways to go. Her dad's visiting us this weekend, so she took him and they're out driving around. She's got some beautiful. I tell you, though. It's, the Springfield's as pretty as what you'll see if you try to go to the hills unless you hit some sort of... He's kind of a... He's a confirmed city dweller. So he's kind of... I think this fresh air is making him a little light-headed or something. Maybe she'll take him on a gravel road or something. Really, really give him a thrill. Well, I'll tell you, we're, we're living out at Ash Grove now. We're, not, we're, not, we're, not, we're out there now. <laughs> I'm out Yellow Barber. Yeah, I've worked on that thing. I thought I never would learn it. Were you at D on that one? Yeah, I'm D. Right about the time they made the record, which was years ago. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, 
There's a tune I want that I need by somebody that I can learn it off of, and that's uh, Rachel. I don't know if I, I don't have it on any record. I'll, I'll look. I'll, I'll just if you button it, it'll come down and show me who I got it by. So. I've got it by uh, Joe. Uh, well, I got it by a bunch of live, you know. Oh. Mark played it. Now he would play it slow enough, probably, yeah. that you could learn it from him and then speed it up. So yeah, that'd that's be a good Rachel. That'd be a good to learn though. Yeah. But I've got, I've got it by a, a blue guy stuff. And I just can't handle that. Right? It's just well, too much different stuff. I've got, I know I've got some good versions of it. I've, Rachel's another one, they'll kind of make their own some of them, you know. But I'll, I may even bob a copy of this Hot Springs. And when I sent it to him, I said, now I know since you're as independent as the hog on ice, which is what he said in that article, you know that. And I said, you probably won't learn it because it's a Texas tune. But I said, if you do, I'd like to say, because it is a good tune. I'll make you a copy of it too. Okay. But it's uh, uh, a lead, of course. Now, I'll tell you who else I heard play it was uh, Junior Marriott played it down here at Branson at the contest. Of course, he, he Texas style, you know, because that's what he plays for a contest style. It's way too. I just have a hard time learning it from them people. It's just so different. It's just get a latest version you can learn. I need to sit down and get you a bunch of those to sit down that aren't too crooked. I mean, I can see where some of them be. Tell me something else. I've been thinking about learning the verse.
crazy fiddler. I love it. I got to listen to those teaching tapes. Yeah. And yeah. he plays those jigs in six, eight times. I wish somebody would teach me just how to keep rhythm. Well, he doesn't play them that fast either. He plays them in the real six, eight times. I don't know six, how to eight even times, keep rhythm. It's just two eights off of four, 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 four. I can't quite get it. I'll show you sometimes when I heard it. I mean, it's Irish. Well, I just. Yeah. That's all we did. Yeah, about half the stuff we played was six, eight times. I can't even keep kids. rhythm to it. You gotta keep do the problem right. is you have to fill it in. A lot of people just kinda get that every beat. It sounds like a horse gallop. You don't want that kind of stuff. He was living in King George. I know. I, what's that? What well, I need though is somebody that'll play a tune six eight nine and back it up and show you what's going on. Whatever that is. Yeah. They were doing some out of out of Fraser's house. Yeah. Those guys up there moving back and forth between Washington and Canada. I've got those teaching tapes. And his sister lives right out here by Kraft. You might be interested in. I took. Uh, Jamie Maddox to play at some he does some well, store or something this is, years here. ago and he was there and, uh, and got together oh, and played a couple nights with him. But he played a whole bunch of this uh He's got a lot Kate of Britain type stuff. Down. Now that's an odd time. Mm -hmm. And he said up there well, they don't put well, the chords, they play six, their space notes six a lot. Tapes. And that's how mm -hmm. they make that which and, uh, I couldn't do. But he played a bunch of that stuff. He plays them and he slows them down. And that guy can play just as good slow. But I wish he'd come back, but it was a time I can't. Just the same quality. It's just really different. Yeah, it's just that up there is Scottish. Kind of really really Do you close. play any tunes in 6 8? What it is, it's no. just so no. close to. I don't. Uh, at 6 8, four, just. Four time. I mean, it's just off. Yeah. It's it blows just like my mind. I don't know nothing. I don't know what to do. Now you gotta get some of them. We used to do some of the 9 8 times. I don't know what 4 time was. I don't know all the time. Just regular old straight time, you know, 4 beats to the lick. And 6 8 is just. Just real close to that, but just not quite there. I've seen a group the other day start a tune at six eight, and, and they just they said. Well, <laughs>
to just wait for it. Then I just ended up sitting there for around wondering where I was at. Well, I see, really what you need to do with that tune is play it through about all you want to and then put that last part, that, that third, third part, part in there and end it, I guess. And I've been playing it, the third oh, part third in, parts. yeah. Well, that third part's my favorite part. Do they? Stolgeen plays it. He'll go through it twice, then he'll put that in, then he'll go back and go through the regular part. And then he'll, you know, but he doesn't end it on that part. But he doesn't play that part every time. No. I don't. Well, I don't know. Crime. I shouldn't say that. I can't really remember. Really. Mm -hmm. Most of them have left that out. Art never did play it, but most of them. You don't hear well, I, like, I, like I like it. That's why I do like it. Yeah. Because I hadn't. Sure. Been, I hadn't heard it. You know until. Yeah. You weren't telling me about well, it. I'm not fine. I just learned that. Where'd you learn that from? Well, this, this third part I put in there, I just kind of learned that from just listening, listening to people play it. Yeah. So I can't put it in there. Oh, I think it really adds to it. Oh, yeah, I like it. The team wasn't hard enough. You know, I didn't need that to go to make it. Good. Well, I like that part. Yeah, it's a As long as you come out right. I, I stop. When you quit, I stop. So. The A part? It's the, uh, the other part. See, I'm not doing that right there. this fall, she told me. Oh, they're pretty fun. And uh, going to invite us to it, so I'm looking forward to going. More of a competition in somewhere yeah. or something like that, yeah. So Bob said they have a real pretty place out in the... A, what is it, AF Highway? Oh, I don't know. He said they got AF. a big ranch that they look at. Oh, so, yeah. So he talked, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they got a big ranch. They got a big ranch. I figured the girls right in the middle of it.
one I really ever heard play. Bob plays it a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, you got a good time to it. That's what, that's the way Paul played it, just like that. Except those Joneses have got that little, I don't know what it is, but if there were a thousand fiddlers, I could know Alton was in it, and if Paul was still letting, <laughs> I'd know what Paul was playing. I never knew They've got Paul. that little kind of a slide or something that they do. Tilford didn't have it as much, but Alton and Paul both did. I really like old Alton Jones. I like oh, to play yeah. the music by the side. <laughs> he gets so excited about everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he knows a lot of good old tunes. Thank you. 
Right with the peep Yes, right with the peep Down about 10 cows. Playing more. <laughs> <laughs> Might flex the only thing that. <laughs> Tim is taping tape. Out on the tape, but Tim. Well, he'll just be taping it and then run well, out. I miss some of the best stuff because I. Well, just get on. Tune Love it. tune it for me. I need it. I need it just tuned. Normal? Yeah. Where I just... Did you drop this string down though for it? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Thank you. 
Sounds like to me like you can do it. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I need that last one. <laughs> <laughs> I think where Dad learned that tune right there, the way I play it and you play it, is from Archie Lambert. And Archie never did play it right, but Dad never heard nobody to hear it. He's Dad, it's the only one Dad ever heard play it, so he learned it from Archie. He plays just like a watch does, or a whole lot. Wow, him and Bob boys matched up. Yeah, but Bob, I learned it from. Uh, that old boy from Texas, you said died last year at 50 some years oh, old. Oh, Bill Northcutt? I think Bill Northcutt's got Which one? Thing. What team? Going across the sea. I don't know if that's on. I'll have to look and see. Yeah. Anyway, I've got it by some fiddler who plays going across the sea. Might not be Bill Northcutt. Well, what's the tape? Who's Connolly? I've got a tape Bob gave me. It was 1945 or something. He's playing banjo on it. There's somebody commonly on there. It's bound to be one of yours. Playing banjo? Probably. It's Bob and just Bob and banjo. That's my dad. I thought that's Bob. What was your dad's name? Bye. It is. Bye, Bye Connolly. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know that tape. You don't? Well, I'll find it. I've got it. It just, I was there when it was made, and you probably was too. Not 19, what year? 40, 45 or 47 or something like no, that. No, it wasn't then. Or 50? It's real early. Well, not real early. Now, wait, he gave, me, he gave me a year, these years ago, he gave me some copies of these. There were some others that maybe these are in the 50s or something. This one is. There's just one with Connolly on it. Now, I remember we went down to Bob's one time, one night. And you know, at times through Bob's life, he'd quit playing. He wouldn't yeah, play yeah, for yeah. five years, maybe. Yeah. But anyway, he wasn't doing much playing then, and we went down there. Him, this fiddle and banjo was all it was. And Bob made this tape. And just Bob and Dad sitting there playing music. That may be what it is. Well, I'll find and uh, it Bob told me, he said, I play that tape more than any tape I've got. Hmm. Because of the timing. It was so, yeah. Dad had such a good time. He was just right there, you know. I'm just sure it's by Conway. I'm pretty sure that's the name on him. I bet that's who it is. I would even like to have a table of that. Well, you just have to get in line, that's all I tell you. We're not running the recording studio. 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 We're not running but they, and they didn't play anything unusual. They played like Soldier's Joy and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And that was when, January. when Dad was old enough that he couldn't, he couldn't get it. Couldn't yeah. get it from us, but he, uh, See, I never really heard him when he could. Really. Oh, I've heard him when he couldn't get it. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I, mean, I wasn't square dancers. They played for his brother. And then, of course, square dancers did the pedal man job. That's what they used to do. The guitars came 
came in later, you know. Yeah. But I go over Central. Mm -hmm. He's over. Yeah. Good yeah. bottle yeah. of Jane, somebody told me. Thank you. Something like that, Abel of Austin, Louisville. Yeah. That, that wise man. Yeah. Something like that. Houston, there was there was an Irish tune I played that Fox Hunters reel. You remember that thing? No. 
and I couldn't get it why they couldn't because the Boeing has a real strong on the offbeat is and they just couldn't get it they were exact opposite of that. maybe it's because the accent was on the offbeat I don't know but you know they were playing a bass note where they should have been playing the chord uh -huh. and it was just <laughs> you know yeah. like that you know maybe you remember that you remember that Mm -hmm. Did you ever play with somebody to tap their foot on the offbeat? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing. I we were years, years ago, this guy got a music shop up in Lebanon. Can't think what his name is, but he taps on the offbeat. And if your eye gets down there and sees it, if you don't look at it, you're fine. You know, mm -hmm. but if you happen to see it, then it, you know it just kind of, and then you, it really messes you up. You just have to look away. Well, that's like, <laughs> you can't. Some you can't watch some people dance at the top. Yeah. And play rhythm. Cody used to do me that way just on purpose. She'd come up and start patting the foot on the offbeat. <laughs> <laughs> just to aggravate me. Well, then, uh, when I liked to, to play Lonesome Fiddle Blues on the banjo, there's a part where it, it just, you just on purposely can go do 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 Just two or three licks there on the offbeat just for the absolute heck of it to mess everybody up. And Mark Pyramid's who I was, he was fiddling it, so I was trying to learn from him. And Danny, uh, Hoppers at that time would just come up to him just to mess him up, you know, just hit that off beat every time, you know. And it, it was so wild to me, of course, when I figured out how to do it, but it was just real easy, you know. But it was just a crazy. Well, well HK is playing it. one that he's almost quit playing it. And it's got the weirdest count. What's the name of that? I shouldn't have mentioned it. I can't tell you played it down the third deal there. I tried to. Early times. Have you ever heard that yet? No. Well, I think it's a. You've heard that. It's a good tune, but boy, it's it's got the weirdest well, time. I don't know if I'd ever figure that. that. It stays Merlin. real long in the Merlin chorus does. part. It stays real Merlin long down there. there. Yeah, I got a record on the planet. Let's play. Who is it? Berlin. Yeah. Yeah. That's that Rocky Mountain Goat. No yeah. one here around. Rocky Mountain Goat. Rocky Mountain Goat. Well, I ain't never heard that's that. something else too. No, you heard it. Last time I was up here, I just learned it. Didn't know the name of it. Thank you. 
Tunes you ask Bob to play that he, he can play them. He can play them, yeah. Or if he can't play them, he'll tell you all about them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
tuned in A, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
boy. Red haired boy. Red -haired. Oh, that's red haired boy. I had played that enough to know. Hey, I heard one playing back through my tapes. You ever hear a Kevin's Waltz? Kevin it's in E waltz. minor and G. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That reminded me of it. It's kind of one of the backwards oh. type thing, you know. It's.
to know it a long time ago. That is. That's got an A minor and then a B minor. Yeah. That's the C, I know. Here goes the C. Does it have a C in there? Yeah. I don't remember ever putting a C on it. Well, I may have, you know, I just don't remember. Well, I, I always did. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, you're right. There, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> so the other one was going to... get started maybe I'll remember how if I can remember this is that Amelia's waltz There's a Willie Chafe. Did you ever hear her record? Mm -hmm. yeah. From Cape Britain. Which one? Which is on which side? Where's Cape Britain's over that way? That side. No, this is the west side. What's British that? Columbia. British Columbia. Yeah. British Columbia. That's where that Lundstrom I was talking about. You're Lunds Ford. Right. This guy's name was Art Lundstrom. He played some good stuff. He played Johnny Get the Buzz Saw something. I don't know. <laughs> got, mm -hmm. <laughs> like we have ours down here, you know. They had those weird tunes up there, but they're all lumber. Yeah, right. Oriented, you know, all the, all the, uh, like our soap suds over the fence and everything. Well, I'll play a couple more and I'm going to have to head on too. Just try that uh, Mason's apron. That's the one of those. It's kind of like the NA. It's kind of like that uh, jacket. The first part's kind of like that jacket that uh, you were playing. Yeah. Thank you. 
at that time. What's his name? The guy plays the bazookies with all those Irish fiddlers. Uh, Mick Maloney. No, that's the right time. He had, well, that was four, that four was. Is all it is. What's another waltz you were playing? Let's see. That one in, uh, in G. Let's see. Oh, Arbettis? Yeah, yeah Arbettis was. You know, Besta Johnson? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is her mother. Her mother's a fiddler, or was a fiddler. Still living in her 90s, I think, or so. Last I heard. Still playing the fiddle, so. same tunes every time we gave a con you know a concert or anything and I had 35 waltzes on there that he played that we played regularly you know. Don't you, did you play with something like two or three times a week? Or? Oh yeah well at least. Well now the last couple of years or so his health was starting to yeah. get for but before that oh yeah. Back fact see we played 17 years together and I'd say 15 of those was at least once or twice a week, plus traveling all over the country together. Yeah, I sure miss him. You know, you get get to know a person pretty well when you travel with him and everything. And, and there's just two of you on stage. You know, you, people always say, well, "How big's your band?" You know, I say, "Well, there's not much band to it." You know, but you know, any any people that play together, you know, I, I don't think we were ever. I was never nervous. Now, if I did somebody I didn't know, it'd be a different matter. But you know, it, it, he knew what I was going to do, and vice versa. And so we. It, it's just like playing here, really. Didn't make it. Didn't make any difference to me. You know, there'd be three thousand out there just us. And we could make mistakes, and nobody knew the difference. <laughs> that was that was one good thing. We were we were from outer space to a lot of these places. We we really were. We, they, they all they expected was orange blossom special and turkey in the straw. And that's about all they heard. They didn't get Huh? They didn't get either one. Oh, turkey and straw. Usually, I'd, I we'd play turkey and straw because yeah, I did a lot of talking in Irish. And because see, there's there's three tunes you can play. You know them. And the oldest one that we know of is Old Zip Coon. That's in G, and that's you play Old Zip Coon. It's almost it's almost turkey and straw. 
That was from about the 1820s or so. And then in the 1840s, go to A and go to Natchez under the hill, which is just Turkey Destroy, or the old Zip Coon and A, and then you come up to 1867, and it's Turkey and Straw. And we'd play those three just to show how these tunes evolve into other tunes, you know, and yet all three of them are still around. You still hear all three of those tunes, you know. But uh, we wouldn't play Orange Blossom Special. I always told them I have a card here. We each have a medical card that our doctors at our age forbid us to play it. And most of them, you know, you'd see them out there going, oh, you know. <laughs> but we, but really, the truth is, if we'd play it, they'd run us off stage because we... <laughs> Well, that's quite interesting. I, I, I hate that I didn't get more playing to his heart. Well, he, now he was different. It, 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 sitting down with him because you you know he doesn't some of them just can't help but blast out you know they just, well it, it, it's hard to play a banjo quietly because yeah. by the very nature of the instrument it's it's a lead instrument it's the dominant instrument of any group you're in but he does such, such a good job yeah he did he really does i really enjoy it uh, one of these days i ever get settled down and get some place to have it i want to have everybody over and anyway, you've got now we got to write down some things here, so I'll remember what I'm going to do. Let me put this in. Oh! Buddy Thomas's. No, I got that buddy okay. Thomas. Uh, Rachel was what I was wondering. Oh, Rachel, okay. And uh, what was it that you said you had some? You need to make me a bunch of. Yeah, there was a guy up in Kansas City, Saturday, 
had uh, a double odd lock nine. That's a, that's a D18 there, right? Uh, that had the plastic. His was 47. So they were still using the plastic keys for 47. Yeah. Well, I was wondering about the, how many yeah. years they went in. Yeah. But I thought it was a little older. I thought it was about the same age as mine. You know? time he called over the mountain. So thank you, Vic. He's a guy that ran the Southern California Old Time Fiddlers Club. Art played Rocky Mountain Hornpipe. He had nothing to call that. That's that's not a hornpipe though, that's really more Irish. Oh, well, got one. Also, this is not an Irish too. Well, this guy see. guy from Southern Illinois yeah. I got that from. Uh, one Irish you were asking about that, Irish musicians in right. Springfield. There's yeah. one left and he he plays the Oh, I, yeah, I mean, you introduced me. Yeah, I introduced you to him, and I, hadn't, I don't know yeah, what else you've seen him doing that. Well, I well yeah, year. he's interested. I just never seen him anymore. He, and he's been playing the pipes, the alien, some, yeah. you know, whatever you call them, alien, is that right? Well, I was talking to Julie Hennigan. Yeah. She, you know, she said he plays some type of Scottish type pipe. Oh. Uh, there weren't alien pipes that he plays. Oh, I thought he was playing the, these kinds. Yeah, but there's oh, a Scottish.